Hey everyone, it's a snowy day today. I'm gonna go out and scrape the pens. Um, just wanted to go through our little farm scraping. Not really a huge thing, but we gotta do it. I do it every like few days, so thought I'd show you how it is on a nice snowy day like today. It's really, honestly, this year's been pretty good winter-wise. I can't complain. Living in the east side of Washington, it's pretty mild, so at least this year has been pretty good. Um, so we don't live in the Midwest where it gets really cold and really snowy, so come along. You can see how this goes. Just got the tractor started, get it warmed up. We've got, first thing we got to do is get some animals moved. Uh, these cows got to go out out of here so I can get them all scraped. Come on, mamas, let's go. Got to push our huge herd along here. <laughs> oh, this girl here, she finds all the poop and lays in it. I tell you, she's a dirty girl. Come on, Angelie. Come on, I know. They don't. They don't like to move. Come on, girl. So these girls are moved out of their lane, which actually isn't too bad. The snow's making it look actually fairly clean. All right, now I gotta open up this one all the way down there. As you can see, now we've got all the girls locked in, clear lane all the way down there. Might have to rebed these girls too but they're pretty comfy with snow. It's almost like, ugh, do we even bother? Because the snow's not even gonna last super long. Oh, looks like somebody might be in heat. So we, uh, before I continue with the whole gate opening of the other barn, um, I always make sure that where the cows lay is somewhat clean and kind of reorganize the straw. We just, We've been using basically sand, but since it was going to be cold, we're going to use straw, but man, they love straw. We might just uh, stick with straw next time. Look at it. So much nicer. I don't know if you guys are this way with your cows, but our cows like to be in certain stalls, so they'll kick them out if someone's in their stall. It's kind of like church, you know? you got to have the same seat every Sunday. Cows like to have the same spot too. Next barn, I gotta make sure I pitch some pies, throw them out in the lane, open all these gates, and then I can actually bring the tractor out here. Okay, everybody's closed off in this barn as well. And so we can uh, start scraping. So now I'm going to close the gates in this barn because in this barn the heifers like to just poop in their pack, so I like to get them out in that mat. Um, what we do with all of that uh, manure when we're done, in the spring we spread it all on our field so it gets used all up. It's amazing how much you think you have and then you spread it and you never have enough, at least 
we don't because we're really small but yeah that's what we do with all of our poop we use it all up on our field as compost and it's awesome Just got done scraping. Um, my hands are freezing. Uh, I'm gonna close up the gates and probably bed a couple more heifers, and uh, then I'll be done. So I'm excited to go inside. I'm just finished up closing the gates over there. They're all happy and clean and doing really well. Um, these two, though, I was gonna. I just opened these back gates. I'm gonna. Um, load a couple wheelbarrow fulls in each one um, in case you were curious at all these two cows here the red one just calved a few days ago and so she's transitioning and we just keep her in a pox stall for a little while until she's really you know doing well she is actually doing really well she's a real sweetheart and this girl's supposed to calve pretty soon so this is where we let them in the box stall is where they they calve, so they've they've got a pretty easy life. Bedded the mamas down. Everybody seems good. Whew, time to go inside and have some tea. We watch we watch Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. This is kind of what I do when I do the chores. Not chores. This is what I do when I scrape. Um, and usually it's nicer out, but we'll have to deal with this weather. It's fine. All right. Thanks for, thanks for watching.